Welcome back to another very exciting episode of Modded Motors. Today, we are gonna be test fitting the GTAM front bumper, and I know this is a very anticipated video. A lot of you guys wanna see what the front bumper looks like. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, dropping it on. Now, there are some things about the front bumper that we'll get into and talk about in a few minutes here. Um, I'll make this video as short as possible. I am trying to test out something on the YouTube algorithm. Hopefully a little bit of a shorter video with you guys staying a little bit longer. Hopefully pushes my video out further. So if you can, stay all the way throughout this video. From the intro, everybody had all these taken out and I'm just gonna yeet off the front bumper because that's really all that's holding it in. Somebody in our last video asked a very interesting question. They said, Ricky, what is the weight difference between the two headlights? Um, and honestly, I'm not too sure, but I'm about to find out uh, in case anybody wants to know that information. The old headlight weighs 10.2 pounds. The new headlight weighs 12.6 pounds. Um, so the total difference is this is 2.4 pounds heavier. Thanks to all the everyone who participated um, in the last video, we are going to be running these headlights, uh, the newer headlights, um, just because I think it fits the ambiance of the build. All right, I'm going to try to go over this information one more time because I think the question keeps coming up. Uh, first things first, we will be adding uh, the GTAM side skirts. The company that was selling the kit only had stick on. I do not want stick on. I have full QV replacements and I'll be buying full direct replacements from Paris 5 for the side skirts. So those will come on soon. These fenders, I've explained it a lot of times, but I'll go ahead and explain it one more time. These are the same diameter width, everything as OEM QV. Um, QV are the same as OEM 2.0. If you want to interchange Q fenders from the QV to a 2.0, you could change the fenders, you can change the hood, you could change the front bumper. The only thing that's wrong with the front bumper, as you guys can clearly see, we have the, we do not have the side uh, cooling. So these kind of just hang, as you guys can see from the front bumper, they're kind of just hanging on. Um, the, uh, the QV also has active front lip, active arrow. Um, obviously we don't have that. So I kind of made my own little, or not me, but Delir made his own little uh, mounting points for it uh, off of my old 2.0 bumper. But uh, that is the only reason why a uh, QV bumper won't work on a 2.0. You can do the same method that I did, but ultimately the hood from a QV interchangeable as you guys have seen on the on my channel fenders are interchangeable and front bumper is interchangeable with, with obviously the, the exclusion of that little that piece down there the reason why this kit is so unique is most gtam again pull out 50 millimeters this keeps the stock qv body lines so it's a direct replacement of a qv panel um, nothing is extended um, so you keep the same oem stock body lines which i think fits the 2.0 much better um, so when you go gtam you need to change the front bumper and the fenders in order to make the width make sense so with this front bumper the reason i like this front bumper right over here is because this fits a 2.0. As you guys can clearly see, it already has a lip pre-built in, and this is specifically made for 2.0. Not really the QV, because if you had a QV GTAM, they would still have that active arrow. This was made specifically to go onto a 2.0 chassis. Anybody online who tells you FRP is junk is just wrong. Um, a lot of companies use FRP when they're making molds. There's nothing wrong with it. Every single manufacturer that sells these kits sell them either in carbon or FRP. Nobody makes them in the OEM material. Those are your only two options. It Obviously carbon is a lot, lot cooler, but it's a lot, lot more expensive. FRP is pretty standard. You, in any Japanese car kit you'll see, any other kit, even other GTAM kits, they're all FRP. What you really wanna make sure of when you buy a kit is the fitment. How is the fitment from this going to fit out to there? And that is what we're testing today. We're testing the fitment on this front bumper to a 2.0. There is gonna be some adjustments that need to be made that we'll figure out in the bodywork down the line. This is just to give you guys an example of what it's supposed to look like. OEM bumper is 17.4. This is 15.2. The difference is this is 2.2 pounds lighter. So I guess it makes up for the newer headlight, if you will. Um, so just to kind of talk about the differences between the two bumpers, just in case any of you guys were wondering what the difference were between the two bumpers, this has little vents right here that this bumper does not have. This has the OEM one, OEM QV has a vent right here. Um, this does not obviously have it right here. It has a vent all the way on this side right over here. 
obviously the obviously the carbon makes a difference um and then obviously that doesn't have carbon they're not too far off from each other um i did hear some people you know have some questions about is this going to look weird because it's not extended on the sides which to be fair it, it could a little bit um, i think once painted it will make a lot more sense um, so don't judge the car once i put it on in the current state judge it once it's all painted and then give your feedback all right so the only thing i have to do is shave off these two sides remember this is a test fit i still have to change out the emblem and i'm still going to get a carbon cover for this so you know this is just a rough estimate if you will push that through I put this on to reinforce. Uh, one thing you do have to switch over is this black piece. Um, this currently bolts into the front V over there, and I'm not going to reattach it over there. So, good old zip ties did the trick for me. You can try to figure out a more effective way if you want. I'm not going to complicate the process. Uh, zip tie is good enough for my build um, and yeah that's what we're gonna stick with okay so looking at the front bumper um, it doesn't look right right now because it's a different color, clearly. The fitment around the headlights is pretty decent. The corners are going to need, so I don't have the brackets on. And I don't think these are going to fit with the brackets. I'm going to have to figure out another way to mount these up. This will stay a lot closer once it's actually fully mounted, which it's not currently right now. The gapping, I mean, it's a little much. This corner right now, again, same thing. You just need something to mount it down to the bottom half. And then the same thing for this, but not, not too far off. But overall, I think it looks decent. Decent is what I'll say. Give these guys a shot from this side, which honestly doesn't look too bad with the OEM. Again, fitment issues will fix. I'll probably do a part two of the front bumper. All right. uh, we'll see you guys next video. Next video is um, the rear bumper. Mm -hmm. um, more problems there. We just really wanted to test fit the front bumper and we got a whole bunch of to talk about. And then we're gonna come back to the front bumper, do some more um uh riv nuts and making it look proper because this obviously isn't the final look of it and then the last video will be taking it to paint or actually doing the headlights then taking it to paint uh but a few more episodes in the series before you guys can see the final look but not too far off right 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 all right um hopefully this is a short video if it's long i sorry i did the best i could <laughs> <laughs> we tried we tried <laughs>